Hey, good morning. How y'all doing? It is Well Read Beard. Uh, let's talk about a book. You want to? Uh, we're here for a book review, and today we are going to talk about my bucket list book number one. I put a tweet out looking for people's bucket list books, right? Like a guy has six months to live, he's a reader, you know, he's going to be stuck in a hospital or whatever, you know. Um, and, and what are some books, you know, for this guy that's read his whole life, but, you know, wants to get in these last few. Um, and, and this was highly recommended um, by a couple of people. Um, I had um, I had seen it before, but I hadn't read it. And, and to be honest with you, let, let's talk about the title first. But it is The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. And to be honest with you, it's a, it's a war book. It's a war story. And, and I'm not really interested in war books, so I didn't think I would be interested in this one. But let's talk about, about why this is a war book uh, for everyone. Uh, first... Um, um, this is a New York Times book of the century, a Pulitzer Prize finalist, National Book Critics Circle Award finalist, winner of the Prix de Milieu, Livre en Trange, for something in France. It won something in France, uh, winner of the Chicago Tribune Heartland Prize. With more than 2 million copies in print, The Things They Carried is a classic work of American literature that has not stopped changing minds and lives since it burst onto the literary scene. It is a groundbreaking meditation on war, memory, imagination, and the redemptive power of storytelling. Now, the redemptive power of storytelling is is the part about this book I think that I love, the part that... I would like to focus on one of my favorite quotes from the book. I'm going to read it here to you. It says, um, 43 years old and the war occurred half a lifetime ago. And yet the remembering makes it now. And sometimes remembering will lead to a story which makes it forever. That's what stories are for. Stories are for joining the past to the future. Stories are for those late hours in the night when you can't remember how you got from where you were to where you are. Stories are for eternity, when memory is erased, when there is nothing to remember except the story. I love stories. I love that bit about writing and, and storytelling. But, um, you know, ultimately this uh, book, it's, it's Tim O'Brien. It's about Tim O'Brien. He was um, uh, in the uh, Vietnam War. Um, he did not want to go. He left-leaning, liberal, anti-war type of guy. He got drafted. And, and he made it uh, 10 feet in the river between... United States and Canada in the river, 10 feet from the border, from running from the draft, from running from the war, from going on into Canada. And, um, and he turned back and he turned back because of what his parents would think, what his small town would think of him and, and, and by association would, would think of his parents and what that would do to him. And ultimately he, he went, um, with the idea in mind that he probably wasn't coming back, you know, that he was going to die over there and, and would rather, you know, save his parents' good name uh, and their, um, I guess, respect slash pride in him or whatever uh, than, than skip out on it. Um, uh, there's just a lot of really, really great stuff in this book. It, it's beautifully written. Um, this is about a, a writer that got drafted and forced to go to war. This is not about a soldier that came home and, and taught himself how to write. I mean, th this guy is a phenomenal writer, phenomenal storyteller. Um, I love the theme of the things they carried. And that's the first chapter in the book. I mean, this is kind of a, um, like a mosaic novel almost. I mean, some of these things in here, um, could be, well, they all could be kind of standalone short stories. I mean, they reference characters from previous chapters and so forth. And we kind of circle back on things and look at them through different lenses, but, um, it, it could be read almost like a book of short stories. And I enjoyed that about it too, but the things they carried and it, it gets deep into, um, the things that a soldier carries into war, the physical things. I mean, you know, it goes into 
all the weight that they carry, all the equipment, the you know the the gun and the ammunition and the you know the the food and the the uh, you know the camping gear and, and all the things they have to carry as well as all the the things that they're really carrying in their minds and in their hearts and it's uh just a really really cool deep look at that at war in general at, at the things that the young 18 year old kid um again that you know we've sent off to to fight in a war all the way around the world uh, has to carry with them um uh, just just really really cool book um another thing i like is is the way it it kind of circles back on things it kind of you know i already said this but like we like particular characters deaths like they'll we, we will see them from multiple angles we will revisit them they keep coming up in different ways and i would like to think that that is kind of a a perfect image of what a a vet of this war you know goes through you know as far as seeing those things over and over again and reliving those experiences and again they come from different angles they come from different characters points of view or different ways of looking at things or you know um and um and it's just really really cool the way um the author does that um the Mil the milwaukee journal says this is writing so powerful that it steals your breath and that is not uh a lie it is um an excellent war book again i'm not a fan of war books i don't read a lot of uh, american history although i am doing howard zinn's um the people's history of the united states very 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 slowly um but it is a war book for everyone and it's a book about storytelling um, and I think anybody uh, could enjoy it. So um, it's probably in my top 10 of all time. It was definitely worthy of being a bucket uh, list book. I'm definitely glad I read it. Um, and um, and it stuck with me. I, I keep thinking about it. And I keep thinking about um, uh, Tim and, and his story and um, his uh, just ability to write it in, in the way that he wrote it. So uh this is The Things They Carried, Tim O'Brien. The book is fucking awesome. This is Well Read Beard. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying all your books, all of them, as much as I am. If not, you are reading the wrong damn books.